Hello, hello, welcome to today's workshop called Black Friday, a Facebook Pages strategy workshop. I'm your host, Scott Schulte. I'm a marketing and website consultant from Sparta, Wisconsin, and Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. Today, we're talking Facebook, and more importantly, Black Friday. Black Friday is less than three weeks away. Well, it's a little over three weeks away, actually, when I'm recording this. So it's right around three weeks away right now. And I really, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I really think that Facebook has leveled the playing field with everybody. So um, especially in, in my hometown here in Sparta, they do a lot of talking about um, shop local and stuff like this and this is a really good opportunity uh, that I'm about ready to show you here where anybody uh, can put their product in front of as many people as they want to uh, so let's get started who's this for well, on a Black Friday campaign, most of it's going to be obviously uh, retail people. So, but I have it targeted mainly towards local retail people because uh, that's that's the people I hope get the most from what I'm doing here. But anyone who sells products and wants to have a Black Friday event can can learn from the information that I that I'm going to give today. I'm going to cover three points. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible. My time's important, your time's important, and so I want to make it as short as possible. What we'll cover here. So the three points that I'm going to cover are how to create a Facebook campaign to increase subscribers, how to use Facebook to build excitement for your campaign, and how to create your Black Friday campaign two different ways. Let's get started. Let's make sure everyone's on the same page because there's people that talk platforms and communities and stuff like this and now I've thrown in subscribers. When I'm talking about subscribers I'm not talking about Facebook likes. What I'm talking about is email subscribers. Okay. The reason we want to build an email list is so that we have full control over our followers. If we advertise in the newspaper, someone may miss our ad or skip over it by accident, and newspaper ads are expensive. Full control will give us the ability to deliver our chosen offer to our chosen audience at our chosen time. I mean, just to go back here to the newspaper thing, I mean, studies have shown... I mean, it's no secret to anybody that uh, newspapers uh, continue to decline. And what happens is, as the number of papers decline, then what they have to do is um, raise their prices to cover the cost of what they're doing. So, thus driving up the ads... Uh, and the thing about um, newspaper ads specifically is um, unless you design them the right way, there's no, there's really no way to show you how many people are actually seeing that ad. So if I put an ad in the newspaper, there's no way for uh, the, the editor of the paper to tell me 128 people seen that ad today. Or 500 people seen that ad today. With Facebook, you can put a budget into their ad system and it'll kick out exactly how many people they're going to show it to. That's powerful. That's why I'm showing you this strategy. Um, what we're going to try and do with this strategy, like I said, is to uh, move people from your Facebook page into an email sequence. Um, so that you can talk to them and just as I put here on the last 
point, you have full control, which gives you the ability to d deliver any message that you want. So once you have an email list, um, it's important not to, uh, just like with a, just like with any um, social media campaign, nobody wants to get bombarded with post after post after post after post. So we're going to show you how to create a campaign where you can, um, where you can get people excited about your event. That's that's what this whole thing's about. So if you create something now that says, we're going to have an amazing Black Friday sale, you are not going to want to miss it. To stay informed, all you have to do is click the sign up button above, and we will keep you up to date on all our exciting things leading up to Black Friday. Let's see how one of those things works. Okay, so let's head over to Facebook and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's my Facebook page, Scott Mart. And I've just created this post that says, We are excited to announce that we have started our preparation for our biggest and best Black Friday event. We don't want you to miss any of the exciting details, so just click on the sign up button above, which is right here. And He's pointing upward, so uh, we would hope that your um, people would get the message. And how you how you do that? Delete this call to action. We'll do, delete the call to action. Okay, create a call to action. Then you go sign up. What website? Then you go just go HTTP colon slash slash Scott Mart dot com slash Black Friday coming soon. Okay. Hit create. And there's a sign up button. And then when somebody does it, it goes to that page. Which is a made up page, so it won't go anywhere right now. Um, here's another thing that you can do. Um, if you have the ability to uh, make screen captures like I do, um, you can tell people once they like your page. Uh, you can do this just with a screenshot too. Um, if they click on this, and then go to notifications. You can click get notified when this post, when this page posts on average three times a week. You'll never see more than five notifications in a day. And then you can just check, check what you want. So if you want all photos or all posts, it'll do it all. If you just want the videos that come out, you can click just the videos or just the pictures, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, if you're uh, looking forward to an event, click on events. And if an event pops up, then, uh, then you'd be notified of it. All right, back to the slides. Creating an email list can be done a number of different ways. If you have a WordPress website, you can collect emails with a form plugin. I recommend Caldera Forms. I did a tutorial on setting that up on YouTube. You can find it at the link right here. Leadpages.net is another great website for email capture. Let's take a look at what they have to offer. Lead Pages is probably the most popular place where you can get uh, squeeze pages are called. They're places where you can get um, templates to collect emails. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you click on templates and then come down here and you want to click opt in. And they've got all these different kinds of different opt ins that you can choose and you can buy them each separately. 
you know, whatever you want to do, whatever you think would be the best. What's cool about this is um, they collect data on the ones that people buy and stuff, and so they can tell you which ones opt in or which ones have the best conversion rates. So if you click by conversion rate, they're saying that this one right here uh, gets the best conversions. I don't know if that would work for what we're trying to do. Um, I kind of like this one, even though we're not running a contest. Um, you could do a countdown like this. This one right here. So you could put your company logo here and you could have like so many to count down to how many days till Black Friday? And this and this particular one's fourteen dollars. And all this is plug and play, so when you buy it, you can change all this stuff out. So you can take this picture out and replace it with something else. But you can still have this arrow. You could change the wording in the arrow. You can change the wording here. You can change the color of the uh, button. You can change the color of the arrow. See, they just have it pink because it matches what they're giving away. So, like I say, this is a pretty cool site. So, you click here and then you put your put your email in. Um, it also gives them the shareability. You know, you want to create content that people want to share with their friends and family because that... I mean, I can show you how to create ads and such, but why pay for it if you don't have to? You know, if you put out good quality content, people are going to come back to see it. It's that simple. So then when the people who care about you and your product, those people are the ones that are going to get on the list to find out what's going to be going on at your store during your Black Friday event, then you, the person who should be in control, is the person who's in control, but more importantly, with a more qualified person than if you ran a Facebook ad 24 hours before your sale. And I didn't mention this in, in any of the points, but I want to make this point too. When you buy ads on Facebook, one of the things that they allow you to do is uh, buy your ads with um, an auction. So 24 hours before your sale, or 20, yeah, 24 hours before your sale, there will be a number of people that are on there. But that the sheer number of people who are spending money in the marketplace will drive the the ad price is through the roof on this particular day so if you can be strategic about it now and create your list now and control the people that you do business with now so that they see the things that you want them to see now uh, that's what you want Facebook how they would do it is they would put your ad in front of how it works is like, I don't know if you've noticed this, but like if you're on your personal Facebook page, not your, not your business page, but your personal profile, if you said, me and the wife were out working on the deck today, it sure could use a stain. If there's people in the database who sell stain, them ads are going to come up. Um, on the sides, uh, all the different places where there's uh, ad space on Facebook because you said that. Or if you go, uh, they have what they call tracking cookies too. So if you leave Facebook and you go to Google and you say, where can I get stain in Sparta? 
um, and then you find out or whatever if there's people that are advertising and then you go back to Facebook, even though you haven't mentioned anything on Facebook, because you've done the research out in the web space, uh, Facebook knows, uh, Google knows, a lot of the big players um, work together with that information. And so they'll drive ads based off of your behavior, their behavioral ads. That's what makes them so effective. So, I mean, I tried that one time, just messing around with somebody one day because uh, we were talking about it. And so we were just talking back and forth just randomly to see what ads would come up based off of our conversation. So um, it's kind of interesting. But Facebook uh, does that kind of thing. And so they would get it in front of the people that they felt would need it. But, you know, it might be somebody who's looking uh, 24 hours before might be looking for the major big box retailers. And I'll tell you, the big box retailers are going to be spending a lot of money um, on Facebook ads this year. So uh, if you want to get your customers out of the clutter, that's this is the way to do it. Your list created this way will have more qualified people. And they'll be more interested in what you have to offer. And that is the exact people you want to do business with, correct? I mean, that's that's what these are. This is the exact way to get the most qualified customers in our area. Now let's move on to step two. Step two is to create excitement. Excitement that builds up to your big day. You do this by creating fun, shareable posts. If you're going to blow out a big screen TV, perhaps you could grid it out and show only a section. <laughs> Maybe you could, you know, how like a TV when uh, there's no cable running to the TV, it'll say no signal. Maybe you could have maybe just signal showing in the gray box and um, ask them if they know what it is. That don't have the whole no signal thing. People would know what that is. but Or maybe even just the NAL with part of the gray box. Just as a hint and say, you know, we're going to see if you can figure out what our big deal is going to be. You know, they like that kind of stuff. Or if, you know, Star Wars is huge, you can already see it in Walmart and in the mall. And I was in Barnes & Noble. It's all over in Barnes & Noble. But Star Wars is going to be huge this, this year. Um, perhaps a Star Wars promo would have your employees quoting famous lines from the movie or dressing up like characters. Think of, like, Chris Farley when he's going... La, 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 Luke. Luke, I am your father. That kind of thing is going to get people... It's going to get people to smile. It's going to get people to laugh. They probably would share something like that just because you're doing something crazy. And that's kind of the whole idea. If somebody shares something with you, um, that's free publicity. That's what you want. The key is to have fun with it. Like I said, that's what it's all about. Give people something to talk about. Use it to bring employees together to have fun and be creative. Uh, it gives So it, it actually builds your culture and your team spirit. You know, if you say, hey, I want to come up with a video that we can do uh, for Black Friday. Any ideas out there? This kind of stuff, the whole, uh, well, let me just go to the next point. Most people hate their jobs. They say 70% of people hate their jobs or claim to hate their jobs. So they, but yet people love to see behind the scene footage of anything that's going on. So if they love a product or uh, a service, anything that's on Facebook, if they've got a like, if they got the page liked and they, 
they enjoy something about that company, um, they'll love to see the cool things that you're doing behind the scenes that no one sees on a day-to-day -day basis. So if there's even like bosses that aren't normally on the floor, you know, who are maybe funny or whatever, but we never see that funny part of it, bring those people out for these kinds of things because people love that. And if you're a, you know, a quote-unquote celebrity of the community, uh, people would love to see that too. So if you're a higher up in, in one of the retail places uh, in your local town um, and a lot of people know you, uh, but you don't get a lot of exposure in the store anymore, uh, use these opportunities to get that exposure and uh, people will really love it. If you create a theme promo, so, and I'll give you one more example here. Like if you're selling fitness now, let's say, uh, have, a, have employees like running on a treadmill, you know, if that's something that you can do inside your, show, inside your store, or um, running with the activewear that you sell. And that gets the mind going with these customers who are coming to your page and they're saying, I wonder, you know, what the deal's going to be for Black Friday. Is it going to be the shoes that they're wearing? You know, they're not coming out and saying it. They're just, you know, adding some fun stuff. So I wonder if that's, if they're going to have a good deal on those. Them wanting to find out will drive more people to your list. Because they'll be like, oh my God, look, have you been checking out so-and-so's page? So awesome. Scott Mart's page. They just added hoverboards. I really, really want those. I wonder if those are going to be the thing that are $99 this year. You know, and they'll say it to their friends. Their friends will say it to their friends or whatever. So, you know, that's, that's something that'll get people's attention. What do you think the hot item's going to be? Or what do you think your hot item's going to be? That's going to get your uh, people excited about coming into your store. Your list will grow with the people most excited about your Black Friday campaign and more importantly, your product offering. As you post, you will be able to see the response you're getting. If you are not reaching the number of people you want to be reaching, boost your post. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so for this part of the training, I'm going to go to a different page that I have because Scott Mart I just created today, and so it's really not even active. But uh, this is one of the other websites that I own. It's whattodointhedells.com. And when I say boost a post, what I'm saying is like when you're on this side of this is the back end or this is what owners see in in their pages and so you can go up here and you can click insights to get a broader picture of what's going on on your page so like it gives you the last five things that you posted and like this one got 407 uh, exposures this one only got 25 this one got 127, this one got 56, and this one got 104. Okay, so from that, um, if you're not, well, let's go back to that page. So I think 407 people for that was really good. Um, and that was all organic. And so, but if I wanted to push that out to more people, you just hit boost post and when you do that then you're able to, you could push like I could have pushed this out to 5,000 people for five dollars super cheap why would you spend sixty dollars or or more on a newspaper ad thirty dollars on an ad when I can spend five dollars and get it in front of six thousand people just about you know this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. And with this particular, uh, when you boost a post, you can 
people who like your page and their friends, that's the most common thing to do. So what they do is they uh, first start out uh, with the people on your page and then they push out to friends, friends of friends, and friends of friends. Um, so that's with that. And then, or you could just do it for people who like the page. And for some reason, every page that I do that on, it then says that it's not available on the reach part. So I always just keep it in this middle one. But if you wanted to, too, you could go outside of your page, um, which in like this particular situation might be the ideal thing to do. You know, for if I wanted to go outside of the people who are on my page that already liked it, um, you can go through and create an audience just like you would with any other ad. And same thing, $5 is going to get you between 2,100 people and 5,500 people. So I don't think you can hardly beat that. It's, you know, same here. It's the same thing. So even though that, so if you're not, ha so if you're running a, uh, a promo with uh, Facebook and for whatever reason, Facebook didn't give it the exposure that you want because Facebook has uh, complete control over the organic part of it. Um, that's something I don't think I've mentioned in this training, but um, I probably should mention just so everyone knows. Uh, this says that 2,173 people like this page. Um, just because 2,173 people like this page, it doesn't mean that Facebook's going to put this post in front of 2,173 people. It put it in front of 407. And then this one, it only put it in front of 25. So why did Facebook only put this in front of 25? Well, it could be a number of things. I could have posted this the same time that um, that Showboat Saloon did. Or something along that. It could have been fighting against something that Showboat, Showboat Saloon was doing. So, um, you know, there's all different kinds of variables. Um, so, if you're not liking whatever the reach is, then just go ahead and boost the post. It's cheap enough to do it. Okay. So, that's why I wanted to show you there. Okay, now we're on to point number three which is the two campaigns. Let's talk about the two Black Friday campaigns, and that's the in-store campaign and an online campaign. Let's first ask a question. Do you currently have an online presence? You know, most everyone that's going to be seeing this is a brick and mortar, main street type business, small town retailer. Your business, brings in a single stream of income the money you get from traffic from in town that's why so many uh chamber of commerce run uh keep it local campaigns uh to help support you guys um i'm more of a uh the technology's there let's see how far we can push it so and everything is so reasonably priced these days, too, where you should be able to uh, do any of this stuff that I'm showing you for, for pretty cheap. So um, if you don't currently sell online, this could give you the opportunity to see if it's something viable for you. Give your business a, another stream of income. So, you know... You'll hear sometimes when businesses are talking that, uh, well, Shark Tank is a main example. Like sometimes when they're talking to people, they'll say, what's your sales? And they'll say, uh, $100,000 just for a simple number, $100,000. Okay, and then how much of that was your brick and mortar and how much of it was from online sales? So, you know, if you're making $100,000, um, in your store or fifty thousand dollars in your store whatever it is um, 
it's pretty reasonable to create an online um, an online presence now. And like I said, if you're interested in that, I can show you how to do it. But let's first start by talking about the in-store campaign. With your in-store campaign, you should make sure that your flyer is released to your subscribers 24 hours before your sale starts. So, and you do that through the autoresponder. And that's something that I'll be showing you here um, with the program that I'm, that I'm gonna have here at the end. Uh, you can create a flyer that looks a lot nicer than a newspaper ad with a word processor or your Mac or with Microsoft Office. So like, you know, you see Walmart's ads or Kmart ads or whatever, but it's grainy because it's made out of newspaper. You know, it's it's not good quality paper. So uh, a good quality picture is not going to move on to a, a good quality piece of paper. <laughs> so if you've got you know, recycled, grainy paper like newspapers made out of, uh, and you try and put a picture on there. It's it's going to be, you know, not the not the best quality. So you can create a better flyer uh, just on your computer, um, or you know, on a web page. But in its simplest form, you could create like a PDF. Uh, file um, of a flyer of whatever you're going to have for your deals. So if you really want to take it to the next level, you could create a video commercial. So something like you'd see on TV. But, you know, we're in the YouTube era. You know, you could put it on YouTube and share it on... Here again, if you've got a WordPress website, very easy to put a YouTube video right into a WordPress page, all you have to do is copy the link onto the page and it populates for you. So, I mean, super easy to do. Okay, back to Facebook. Before your store opens, you can post on your Facebook page, find our deals here, and link to that flyer. So there's also ways that you can put a PDF onto uh, your website and so you get that web address so uh, you know most of my experience is with WordPress so with Word, with a WordPress site what you would do is um, you would go to the media file and then you would um, you would upload your PDF file and then that PDF file would then have um, a URL just like a page would, just like a post would. You could then come back to Facebook and share that link. And then when they click on that link, a PDF file would come up. So you can do that, you know, before, before, you know, the, you know, just before, you know, you know, give some people some time so that they can make plans to do whatever they're going to do. Um, but I am going to say this, I would sweeten the deal for your subscribers because that's what you wanted. So you don't want to give your subscribers 24 hours and then as soon as you give your information to your subscribers, you turn around and go on Facebook and you give it to the people who didn't subscribe. You want to uh, benefit or you want to... Uh, really take care of the people who do what you want them to do so um, so another another thing you could do is maybe allow them to come in and shop your store an hour early so you know without saying that from the beginning um, you could do it as a thank you so like the 24 hours before you want to send out your PDF that says this is what this is what our ads gonna be um, you could tell them and we appreciate you being one of our subscribers and because you subscribed to find out about 
our flyer we'll let you come into our store an hour before the public does so the you could create two different flyers you could create a flyer for them and then you could create a flyer that says to the public an hour later so let's say your store is going to open at six but you're going to let your email subscribers come at five you know and and really give them the good treatment because they did what you wanted them to do they came into i mean they checked out all the different posts you had they checked out all the different emails you had um they got your flyer found out that they were going to come to the store at five and then they showed up so they've done everything that you wanted them to do so they should get benefits for that uh if you don't want to give them the hour early vip treatment you could also create a special coupon just for those people now the other thing like i touched on a little bit earlier is um, creating a digital ad and a digital ad can be like a web page rather than pdf so a um, e-commerce page or an e-commerce website if you have an e-commerce website you know your black friday could be the home page part of it um, here again if we're talking wordpress if you're savvy with WordPress, you can go into your cPanel and you can um, you can add a subdomain and you could create your own uh, e-commerce site right on your site that would be like shop.scottmart.com and shop.scottmart.com would be uh, a whole separate website but still connected to my brand um, otherwise you can just do it as a page and there's tools where you can do that too I could create something like that for you um, where you have you know how many other things you decide to do you know somewhere between 9 and 20 different things probably um, where you uh, you know three maybe three rows of three would be one page and then if you wanted you know if you had 18 then you'd have to create another page and and then so the stuff on the first page should be the super good deals and kind of work work your way back but this also could be done a couple of different ways if you have more than enough inventory, you could create a page that shows your deals and give people the opportunity to either buy them online or buy them in the store. So if you've got 50 TVs and you're going to blow them out and you don't think that they're going to buy 50 of them in the store, um, or, you know, if you want to get, if you have the logistics and you think it's pretty easy to do, um, you can do it through PayPal. They actually, if you create a PayPal button, they'll ask you to put a, a inventory number in and how many you have in inventory. So if you say, I have 10 in inventory, uh, what PayPal will do is once you sell the 10, if the 11th person tries to buy it, it'll say, ooh, sorry, we're out. So there's ways to do it. Um, if you wanted to do, if you wanted to offer people either um, in the store or online the same offer, so you could do that. That's point number one. Or if you don't have enough inventory, or you believe it would just be a coordinating and logistics nightmare, and, and maybe it would be, you know. Uh, I've worked retail all my life, so I know that, um, uh, you know, this time of year is crazy. So, um, if you think that it would be a coordinating and logistic nightmare, you could just do like nine special buys. You could buy some different things from a supplier 
And then you could tell your people, any of them, whether it's your list or your Facebook page, whatever, all of them, you know, so you could get rid of it. You could say, you know, shop my shop our deals online. See, this is what Walmart does. Um, they buy a lot of stuff and they say only available online while supplies last. Uh, you could do the same thing. Uh, like I say, the technology is moved in a direction where the little guy can do exactly the same thing as the big guy if you want to play in that game. It's up to you. I'm going to show you how to do it. Another thing you can do with your subscribers is instead of having these people camp out or whatever, so let's say you have 50 TVs again, and or let's say you have 10, so, you know, there's going to be people that are going to get TVs and there's people who aren't going to get TVs. Um, you could have your people online reserve them. Okay, so then uh, once they're reserved, you know, you can go, oh, sorry, you know. But in that particular situation, you don't want them to buy them online because the reason you, and, and Walmart is another, uh, they do a really great job of this. So they say, you know, maybe the, hot, the hottest thing that they're selling this year, you know, a TV for $99 or something like that. They don't put that right next to the door where you walk in the door and then you just go right to the register and leave. They put that clear in the back part of the store so that you have to walk through. I mean, that's that's basic merchandising of any retail environment. You know, you can do the same thing. So you don't want, I mean, if you're cutting your costs so that people come in and look at other things, you know, by all means, don't do this. But, you know, if... If you're looking for a way to make income in the store, make income online, you know, it's it's a way to do it. So we've covered a lot today. Uh, if we showed you everything step by step, this video would have been a lot longer. So what we're going to do is this. We know there are some people who can take our ideas and just implement them on their own. For you people, go ahead and do that. You know, I doing this because I really like the little the little guy and the Main Street person and I don't want to see him fail and the technology is there for him to to play in the same pond as the big guy and I think you're actually seeing that as you know you hear things about negative things about what's happening with Walmart you know, they say their sales aren't as good as they have been. And Target, they're they're closing 13 stores. I read tonight, and that's a and they said it was because of the profitability. So, you know, there's e-commerce at play. So, what should you take from this? You know, you can say I'm not going to get involved with this technology stuff it's just too too much for me or uh or you can get in the game 